So finally, I have my updated what's in my purse. It's been, what, two years? And this is actually my second time filming this because if you follow me on Twitter, the first time I filmed it, the footage was corrupted, which happens like once every 100 videos, and it's so annoying. So I just had to completely refilm this. But good thing nothing inside has changed. So it's the same exact. But the purse I'm carrying currently is the Chanel 3 bag in gray. And it's called the 3 because, as you can see, it has three separate compartments. So it kind of looks a little funny from the side, but I just think this is like the perfect color for me because it goes with everything that I wear. So if I'm dressing up and wearing like a cute dress and heels, it looks really nice and really kind of nighttime and dressy. But then if I have on like a sweater and boots like I'm wearing today, it still goes and it can kind of look a little casual too. So this is my absolute favorite bag out of all the bags that I have. And this is the one that I've been carrying around with me. As you can see, it is very, very full. I just kind of keep a lot of stuff in here. So, and it's not as big as most of the bags that I carry, so it kind of is annoying. But anyway, I will show you what the inside looks like, kind of an overview. This is like an overview. So the back pocket just has like one pouch, which has makeup in it, which I'll go through. The middle one only has my wallet, and then the front one is a little bit miscellaneous. It has like, I mean, I'll go through everything. That's what this video is, so just be a little patient. I'm just kidding. You guys aren't being impatient. Okay, so I'm going to go through the first pocket first. The very first thing I have in my purse are my vintage sunglasses that I got really inexpensively, and these are actually from the 70s or the 80s. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. These these are from Polka Dots and Moonbeams, which is like a little vintage store on 3rd Street in Los Angeles. I just thought they were really cute and I like the cat eye look to them and like I said, they were really inexpensive and I like the idea of them being like true vintage sunglasses. The next thing in my purse is a lone straggly lipstick that is not in my makeup bag because I actually used it earlier when I was using this purse because I went out to get a coffee right before I filmed this video. and. Um, I use this and I didn't put it back. That just proves that I like didn't organize my purse for you guys. It's very authentic. So this is Tom Ford lipstick in 13 blush nude. And this is what it looks like. If you guys want to see what my lipstick looks like. So that was in the front pocket. The next thing is my car key. I have the same exact car that I had two years ago in my what's in my bag. And I think I even had this car in my original what's in my bag, which was like three years ago. That one was older. I think I, because I've had this car for a while. So I have a Lexus IS250 and this is the little key. I get asked a lot what kind of car I have and this is like the little key to it. And actually the reason I picked my car, this was like really super innovative back when I got my car and now like every car has it, is I really liked the touch to start feature. So I don't actually plug my key into my car as long as it's in my purse. I can go up to my car, unlock my car, start my car, drive my car, stop my car, and lock my car without digging out my key. And I thought that that was really safe for if you're like alone at night and you're in a scary parking lot or parking garage. There have been nights where I've been really glad that I haven't had to rummage in my purse for my key. And I know you can get your key out beforehand, but sometimes you don't realize you're in a scary situation until after you're already in it. And then it's nice that I can just quickly open my door and my car sensor just senses that the key is near it and opens and then, you know, I can drive off. So I've been thankful for that key sometimes. I have gum. This is Dentine Ice 40 Minute Fresher Breath After Chewing Peppermint, artificially flavored, which does not sound healthy at all, but it is the American Dental Association accepted. And I always get gum that is American Dental Association accepted because it's better for your teeth. And I just like super minty, like pepperminty gums. I don't really like fruity gums as much. I feel like if I'm gonna chew gum, it's because I want super fresh breath, not because I want to chew gum. Like I'm not a huge gum chewer. I used to be like in high school and stuff, but I'm not anymore. I have my little keychain. So this little guy is actually, well, this is a little girl, it's not a guy. Um, I think she's a little cutie. This was a Christmas present from Blair this past year, and I actually keep my ID inside of it, my driver's license, because the theory behind that is if I ever want to go anywhere and I don't want to take my purse or if I'm in a big hurry, I can, you know, my ID is always with my keys, but that actually doesn't work out in real life because my key is not attached. So I could take my car and forget this and not have my ID. And I have the scanner to get up to my floor in my building, my house key, my scanner to get into my uh, parking lot, and then my little mail key, which has a little 
cute keycap that I showed in my stocking stuffers video. I think this is from Forever 21 and I got me one and I got Blair a little cupcake one and it didn't fit on my big sized key. It only fits on like my tiny little nail key. So that's kind of misleading. Like if you were to buy one of those for your regular key, you would assume it would fit and it doesn't. So it only fit like my little baby one. And then I have my Lipsy Glam um, keychain that matches perfectly. So that's why I like that. So those are all of my little keys. It's very pink and girly. I have my phone, which obviously is not usually in my purse, but I actually just got back from coffee, so it was in my purse. And this is one of the Winter Glow Ellen Blair Solaris cases. And I have a little flower background on my phone that matches it. It's very cute. And the last thing in the front pocket is this tiny little granny purse that I got from Forever 21. This was in one of my old haul videos. And inside I keep a bunch of quarters. And that's so that if I am parking, a lot of um, parking in LA is metered. And so they do take credit cards, but I just think quarters are so much easier. And that way you don't have tiny little charges on your credit card. So I prefer just to keep quarters. So when I get change back, if I'm using cash, I put all the quarters in here and then I put all the change in my wallet. So that was everything in the front pocket of my purse. In the middle pocket, all I have is my wallet. And this wallet is actually new. It wasn't in my last what's in my purse. Well, it isn't that new. I've had it for probably I've had it for like a year now, but it was new, you know, since my last What's in My Purse. I had like this red coach wallet that I loved that I had for so long in my first two What's in My Bag, so this is like a little newbie. And the reason that I got this is because I wanted a bright, fun wallet that I could also use as a clutch. So I wanted something that was cute on its own and that was a little bit more compact and thinner so that it would fit in this purse because, actually, so that it would fit in any purse. I didn't have this purse yet when I got it because um, my big red wallet was really thin thick. It was like a checkbook wallet and it really didn't fit in a lot of purses and it took up a lot of space. So I wanted something like compact and thin. So this is the Louis Vuitton Insulate wallet and I got the one with the bubblegum pink interior. They have different colors and when I went in I actually asked to see all of the ones they have with the bubblegum pink because all of the patterns on the front come in different color combinations and I wanted the one with the center LV being hot pink on both sides. So I actually picked this one out and I was really glad that they had one in stock because the other ones had like this like kind of green color in the middle and there was one with like like a black or a brown in the middle and it doesn't really matter but I feel like if you're going to invest in something it does matter. So I'm actually going to take out just a couple of my cards um, just for safety reasons and then I'll show you the interior like my health card and you know credit cards and stuff. I think that's everything. Okay, so this is what the interior looks like. There's quarters in it, or there's not quarters. All my quarters are in my quarter pouch, there's change. So it has six credit card slots on this side and six on this side. And then it has an additional long slot here that you can put more cards if you have them. And then there's a slot behind here that I have stamps and some like important receipts. Like if I buy anything that I might return or anything that's like a bigger purchase, I keep the receipt. Just, in, just until I use it and I know I'm not gonna return it. And then on the other side, there's a zippered compartment that I have all of my non-quarter change in. And then behind that, I keep my cash and I don't have very many. I have like a couple ones just for, again, for like parking and for parking garages and stuff like that. And then there's also a zippered, a bigger zippered compartment along the back that holds quite a bit. So right now I have it full with just extra cards, you know, store cards. Like I have my Anthro card and my Mac Pro card, which has expired and um, my like Hope Look card, my sorority card, just different cards. And actually, if you take all the cards out of my wallet, my phone will fit in there. So if I wanted to carry this as a clutch, this is one of the reasons why I bought this wallet. So I put my phone in there and you can zip this up and it doesn't stretch it or anything. Like it fits perfectly if you have an iPhone, even with a case on it. And it snaps and it's just like the perfect little clutch. So you have your phone, you have all of your money, your cards, all that stuff. You take this and your keys and you can go. And I've used this as a clutch a couple of times and I really like it. So I'm gonna take my little phone out. Okay, the very last thing I have in my purse is in the back section and it is this little makeup bag and I have headphones underneath them that are completely tangled because my headphones always are because I cannot for the life of me keep them not tangled. And the reason I like this makeup bag in particular for this purse, other than the fact that it's super bright and just makes me happy to look at, is that the way this purse is designed, the front two compartments hold a lot of stuff, but the back compartment, I don't know if it's because it's up against your body and so it's more 
like compressed or if it's the way it's designed it's actually like stitched tighter over here on the corner it doesn't hold as much so I tried using other makeup bags and I just didn't have any that wasn't flexible enough this way like like thin so I ended up seeing this one and I got it and I really like it and it holds quite a bit I like my stuff to be organized okay so I'll show you what's in here I have a Chanel pressed face powder just to touch up you know on the go if I'm if I need to touch up my face powder if I'm shiny. I have a hand cream. This is 20% shea butter for dry skin. And I use this a lot when I'm on the go because I I feel like sometimes when I'm places like at a grocery store in line or I'm filling up my car with gas or I'm somewhere that I might not really want to be right then, I kind of feel like it's nice to just be able to like pamper yourself. And I feel like the simplest things like putting really soft hand cream on just makes me feel like I've done a little something special. So I keep that in my purse and I put it on my hands or my elbows or if my feet are really dry, I just kind of like use it to pamper myself. And this one smells a little baby powdery, which I don't love, but I got one of these for me and one for my mom for Christmas. And um, it's very moisturizing, so it's good, but the smell I don't love, so just, yeah. So I have two hair ties, um, just you know, in case I need them in my purse. I have my favorite lipstick of the moment, which is YSL number 30. I love this one so much. It's like a bright coral. It's so pretty. I've just been loving this lipstick. So if I'm not wearing the Tom Ford blush nude, I've been wearing the YSL. Like I always have one or the other. I have Tom Ford on today, but I love those two lipsticks. And then I have two little perfumes in here. They're like little baby perfumes. I have Chanel Chance Tendre that the Chanel counter gave me as like a little sample. And this is really nice because it's actually like a roller ball. So I can just roll it on me when I'm out places. It's like a really nice little sample. And then this is Gucci Guilty Intense. And this was like a 100 point perk from Sephora for, you know, being like a um, beauty insider if you spend money you get points and then you can redeem it for things so I got this for free and I like it it's cute it has a really cute packaging and it's it smells really good too so I like having two just because I'm not always in the mood for the same perfume I do like switching my perfume up two more lip products I have MAC luster glass and love nectar which is probably my most commonly worn lip gloss and I find that this color in particular is super pretty over both blush nude and YSL 30 so even though this one's really coral and this one's really nude the love nectar kind of works with both like it's kind of right in the middle it's like the perfect lip gloss color and then I have Kors lip butter glaze and jasmine this is the tube one I have the tube and the pot and the pot I like better I keep that one in my bedside table on the top drawer and I put it on before bed every night but for on the go I think it's better to have it in a tube so I keep the tube one in the per in my purse with me if I need anything super moisturizing for my lips or you know if they're getting chapped I put this on and then I have one of my all-time favorite things like this has become such a must-have for me this is so much more important than gum I think if you can get your hands on this like go get it this is the kissing elixir 100% natural fresh breath mist and it's a vanilla mint and what I do is actually I don't just do one spray this is like really funny, but I'll put like five sprays in my mouth if I'm like going somewhere important or if I um, just, you know, if I want to. And I'll put five sprays in my mouth and I'll let it sit in my mouth for a few minutes. Not a few minutes, like maybe like 10 seconds. I'll kind of just let it. And then I swallow and it seriously, I feel like I've just brushed my teeth. Like it's, it just, it really freshens you like even more than gum because sometimes with gum, I feel like it can have a weird aftertaste and when you throw the gum away, it doesn't last. This is a really amazing product. Like I am so in love with that. I will keep repurchasing that until like forever. Okay, and then the last thing I have in my little makeup bag is CO Bigelow Rose Salve. And the reason I have this is not because I use it for my lips because I don't use it. Sometimes I use it for my lips, but I don't have it in my purse because I use it for my lips. I use this for my lips. I keep this in here because it's kind of like a nice all-purpose salve. So you can put it on your cuticles if your cuticles are starting to dry out. And sometimes if I'm just like, sitting in a waiting room somewhere or like waiting in line somewhere or something I'll just sit here and I'll like put hand lotion on and put cream on my cuticles like I'm just kind of like girly like that and so I keep this for my cuticles and also you can put it on your elbows or your knees or any dry areas on your skin during the winter that's especially important and the last reason I keep this is because you guys 
probably have heard my Vaseline trick where I put Vaseline on my feet if I'm wearing heels and it prevents blisters. It is one of my best beauty tips of all time. Like, and I don't think a lot of people know about it because everyone I tell, they're like, I've never heard of that. It's amazing. And if I don't want to carry around Vaseline or if I don't have room, which I don't have room in my purse to carry around, even the mini is just too bulky. This is like an all purpose. You can put this on your feet if you are in a pinch and you need no pun intended. If your feet, if your shoes are kind of pinching you and you just need something to protect your feet. So it's just like a good all purpose thing. So that was everything that was in my purse. I went through the entire purse. That was all. Um, all my stuff is now like scattered everywhere, but that's fine. Cause yeah, cause I don't know. You guys want to see what was inside my purse. So I hope you guys enjoyed this updated what's in my purse video. I know it was really requested and um, I think they're fun. These videos are so fun. So there wasn't anything like super unique in my purse this time, but everything just fell on my foot. That really hurt. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye.